Hey folks, Jackson here. I'm actually in the Dwarven District of Stormwind right now, and you may be wondering why, but I'm going to have a little bit of fun this morning. Um, Rethu's Incessant Courage is the legendary plate. I actually haven't even worn it myself yet, but you see the three prismatic sockets with that? That is just awesome. Additionally, there's, there's some neat little components that come with it. Uh, when an enemy is within 8 yards of you, you heal for 2% of your maximum health every 3 seconds. When no enemies are within 8 yards of you, your movement speed is increased by 15%. So, depending on what your strategy is here, there's there's some utility in this belt. Uh, it's still going pretty high on the auction house, so yeah, I won't be collecting this appearance today. Uh, just to step back, Blood of Sargeras, you're going to get that, and it's pr still pretty expensive, even in 7.3. You, you require that as the basis of all your any legendary crafting equipment. Um, Hammer Forgotten Heroes, that's actually it's veiled behind a quest line. So you actually need a particular bit building to come up in the Broken Isles, and then you're going to be provided with the Armor Crafter's Commendation. And you see I'm sitting on eight of them now, so I need to pick up my pace a little bit here. Uh, the Nether Shard Essence, that's typically been held behind essentially your a vendor and you require like 8,000 nether shard to pick them up honestly you, you can buy this on the auction house for like 500 a unit right now it's it's easier just to drop the gold and then demon steel bars uh, that's one of the go-to steels for blacksmiths but it actually was the go-to until this imperial breastplate just dropped and now imperium is starting to get some pretty hot attention on the market but yeah go out rock this we're going to drop by i see some deliciously bearded blacksmiths here and we're going to pick this up rethu's incessant courage that's applicable for any warrior paladin or death knight and the beauty all you require is 101 so whether you're someone who wants to boost a plate wear to level 100 or, or basically if you're trying to grind and, and hit it out and you haven't reached 110 yet it's a real easy way to pick up some loot awesome pretty achievable pretty cheap it's a good way to roll okay keep your eyes open for it i'm going to throw it up on the auction house thanks guys see ya